Hi, right, hello Future 5 Pete. You know I had to try it out with X23. <laughs> I'm just curious as to how much more she can shred now that the world bosses will effectively be just standing there. Uh, I, I just don't know how it's going to go, but I mean, well, she can do these stages normally, but I usually get pretty close or like barely get the kills because of time. Uh, let's try again and just see now with the changes to the uh, World Boss Ultimate Strikers, just constantly making the boss just practice dummy, standing in the middle there doing nothing. We'll see how it goes. One up standing in some of the poison or something to take some damage to my passive procs so I can get some more damage. Oh, I did get frozen. There's some green. It's kind of like Sabretooth, her passive will activate if I'm below full health and increase my critical rate and stuff like that. Well, since the boss isn't really doing much damage to me, uh, I'll have to actually damage myself. And close again, and this is weird. I'm trying to get used to where the circles show now. But I'm not getting quite the proc I would normally get with my uh, custom gear and CTP at Rage just because my crit rate I don't think is really staying up like it should be due to the fact that I'm not really taking damage from the boss. I'm just trying to let it poison a little bit. I mean normally this is like I usually don't go I've done like 58 is a lot easier for X23 just because the boss would cause me to have to be running around and dodging and you know, healing and stuff like that. But now that literally, let me stand in some green, uh, now literally that the boss just stands there, I don't really have to worry about uh, the boss herself. I mean, the, the fixes on the arena are the only thing that's really going to hinder you now. And even at some point, that's negated because once you attack, your mind controllers are going to wind up just stopping them. Like even with the, the spears there, some of them went off, but then my mind controller came out and it was pretty much over. I don't think I'm just getting my crit rates just right because I'm not taking damage. I'm, most times I'm at almost full health.
has taken me so long to actually crit to get the CTP to proc. And plus, I'm not having to really dodge anything with X23 because the boss is just not doing anything. So that's also affecting the, uh, the CTP of rage procking. Because if I'm not dodging and I'm not really critting as much as I should be, I don't know, it just, it just kind of feels really weird as far as uh, the boss game. Even now, it's going to be a close kill. And that was just a big hit because the striker added defense down on top of X-23's uh, attack. And this might not even have, I'm just, I can't even plot my CTP. Well, I got it, but yeah, the CTP is just not procking. Uh, I guess, like I said, because I'm not critting and I'm not dodging. Uh, oh. oh, wow. Okay, wow, that, that's pretty nice. X-23, I love you. Uh, let's see what these boxes are. Okay, let's see what garbage I get. Eh. Six. Eh. Eh, well. Okay. Alright, and then what's using Nick Fury's leadership. Nick Fury's support. And Shuri's support. And my X23. Her stats. But see, my crit rate is only 59.72%. But X23, her skill. Uh, let's see. When I'm below 900% health, my crit rate goes up 10%. So that keep, puts me, you know, about 69, uh, about 70%, which helps my CTP of rage on her proc. But if I'm not dodging and I'm not really taking hardly any damage to to be healing, I, I'm just not procking it as much. And that is her build. But thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed and hope to catch you next time.